To get updates on latest recipes, subscribe to Get Curried and press on the bell icon. Hi, this is Smita Dev and welcome to Get Curried. Many a times after a hard day at work, you come home tired and you don't want to cook something really exciting, but yet you want to eat something chatpata and tasty. So for a day like that, I'm going to show you how to make a masala pav. So for that, I've heated a large tawa here. I'm going to pour four tablespoons of oil, two tablespoons of butter, three onions finely chopped, and I'm going to saute this till the onions become nice and golden. The onions have turned golden. I'm going to add a teaspoon of garlic paste, a teaspoon of ginger paste. I'm just going to saute this till the raw smell goes off. One tablespoon red chilli powder, some turmeric, maybe half a teaspoon, one and a half tablespoon of pav bhaji masala, and now I'm going to add the tomatoes to this. I have taken two tomatoes that I have finely chopped. I'm going to fry this till the tomatoes are nice and mushy. To this, I'm going to add half a capsicum finely chopped. The fragrance is nice and chatpata. I'm going to add some salt. I'm not adding too much salt because we've already added butter to this. Now while our masala is getting ready, I'm going to just fry some pav in butter. So I'm just going to slice the pav. Fry it on the same tawa. Now is the exciting part. I'm going to put half a cup of grated cheese in this. and some franki masala we've added a tablespoon and a half of the franki masala just going to mix this quickly just spread this mixture onto the pav Now I'm going to add one more tablespoon of the butter and I'm just going to fry the pavs gently in that, nice and crisp. I'm just going to gently squeeze the pav so that the masala goes right in. Shut the flame and our masala pav is ready. I'm just going to remove it on a serving platter. And on this now, some freshly chopped coriander, a little bit of cheese and our masala pav is ready to be served. You saw how quick and easy it is to make the masala pav, chatpat, fatafat and extremely tasty. So do try this dish and let me know.